Ciao, we are the Sapienza Flight Team, representing Sapienza University of Rome, Italy. This is our third year at the SUAS competition. This year we are proud to present our new project, Stingray, a VTO UAS that will enhance our performance in this year's competition. Last year, our team was honoured to receive the SUAS 2024 Safest Team Award. Building on that achievement, we made further improvements to our workspace, implementing new and enhanced safety checklists and procedures. We were fortunate to receive training from composite manufacturing experts, who helped us create a safer environment and trained us in the appropriate use of PPE. Masks are mandatory for all team members while working with composites such as carbon fibre and Kevlar, preventing dust inhalation and while working with other potentially toxic materials. Working with LiPo batteries poses serious fire hazards. Therefore, all batteries are stored in appropriate fireproof bags in a cool and dry environment. We monitor the voltage of each battery before and after every flight to track power consumption and to make sure all batteries are safely above the minimum voltage threshold. We carefully check that all electrical fasteners are securely connected and all connectors are correctly positioned. Our system operates at a maximum voltage of 50.4 volts. To minimize the risk of electrocution and injury from propeller blades, all operational team members are promptly notified whenever the drone is armed or disarmed. We also designed and built a custom PCB board that allows effortless switching between automatic and manual flight modes featuring a double redundancy system to mitigate any risks arising from autopilot malfunctions. The safety pilot can activate a dedicated switch to completely bypass the autopilot hardware if necessary. To further enhance safety, we created new, more intuitive, pre-flight and post-flight checklists and added software checklists to verify the correct operation of our homemade autopilot software. Our software undergoes extensive testing and tuning before and after each flight in a software in the loop environment. Our pre-flight procedures include checks that prevent inputting invalid waypoints into our customized Q-Ground Control software. Additionally, in the event of a GPS signal loss, the aircraft is programmed to automatically return to the designated flight zone and safely enter loiter mode. Our radio transmitter is equipped with a safety switch that prevents propeller movement, allowing the avionics to be powered on safely while still on the ground. This makes it possible to perform software checks securely before takeoff. We also installed a safety net around our airfield so that non operational team members can observe flight operations safely. We ensure that the drone remains within sight of the team at all times and that everyone can immediately communicate with a safety pilot should any hazards or malfunctions arise. Before takeoff, the safety pilot is responsible for carrying out the pre flight inspection. During the walk-around, the safety pilot checks that everything is properly installed, free of damage and securely fastened for flight. They also ensure that all control surfaces respond correctly to the inputs. HRS? Check. My references? Calibrated. Vito? Zero. Altitude 100 Check
Engine cut off. HRS. Checked. Bar references. Calibrating. Vito. Zero. GPS. Fixed. Ready for takeoff. Copy. Shot of cut off. First lap completed. Cruise check, all parameters are good. Copy. Lap 2 completed. Cruise check. All parameters are good. Bobby. Lap 3 completed. Bobby. Cruise check. All parameters are good. Bobby. Lap 4 completed. Coming in for landing. 